So on to number five of nine, which means we're at our man in the middle, and it is uh, the FameLab Academy winner from Thomas Keeble School, Benito Mazasti. Uh, Benito plays uh, basketball for the county, is a very keen drummer, which apparently so is Kate Clark, but I don't think there's any time for talking about flams and paradiddles when we get to the questions later. And his three adjectives of choice are abstract, funny, and confident. Beat your hands together rhythmic rhythmically, please, for Benito Mazasti. Hello, my name is Benito Mazasti, and today I'll be talking about snakes. Truth be told, I have a huge fear of snakes, and I thought that maybe if I researched them, it may help me get over my fear. And during my research, I learned two really interesting facts. And my first fact it is, is to do with how snakes smell. The way they do this is they'll flick their tongue into the air and collect the odor particles in the atmosphere around them. They'll then flick their tongue back into the mouth and shoot it into the Jacobson's organ. This organ is located at the top of the head. So if I were a snake, it would be located where my forehead or the top of my nose is. Here, I've actually got a tennis ball. And I'm going to throw it to the side of me in just a moment. And when I throw it, I want you all to follow it with your heads. Three, two, one. I've actually got a second ball. And this time, I want you to stick your tongues out as you turn your head. And I'll explain why after. <laughs> The reason why I made you do that is because if you were a snake and you saw that, you would have stuck your tongue out to collect the odour particles to detect if it was an animal trying to trap you or just a natural happening, like a twig falling from a tree or a leaf falling from a branch. My second fact is how snakes move. And it's got four parts to it. That's right, snakes have four ways of moving, just four ways of getting about, and I thought that was really interesting. The first way they move is the serpentine method. And this method is the most commonly known and used way a snake can move. It's just a simple slithering motion like this. And if I were a snake, I would have stuck out my hip and used this part of my body to push a rock, a fence post, or a tree. Something that can take my body mass and stay standing and act as a resistance so I can push off from it. The second way a snake can move is the sidewinding method. This method is actually most commonly used in slippy areas, like a desert or a bog. They use this method when they jump from their tail and land on their head. And as stupid as that sounds, they don't let the centre part of their body touch the ground at all whilst using this method. And they can get up to 18 miles per hour. The third way they move is the rectilia method. And this method is extremely similar to sidewinding. They push from their tail, but whilst they recoil from the front of their body, they push again with the back of the body to keep moving forward and not stay in the same place. It's most effective in tight spaces, like a tight alleyway or between two large rocks. The fourth and final, my personal favorite way a snake can move, is the concertina method. This method is where they use the scales on their belly to dig into the ground and the scales on the side to slowly push forward. They use this method when they shed their skin or sneak past a predator they don't want to bump into, like a large bird, for instance. I hope, you've, I hope you've learned something about snakes today. I know I certainly have, and it's definitely helped me get over my fear of snakes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Benito. That was a really great presentation. Um, you used lots of really good ways to structure your presentation. You told us exactly what you were going to be telling us about and what your motivation was right at the beginning. You concluded by saying it actually helped you. So you know you wrapped it up really nicely. You use lists. People yeah. always like lists, especially when you tell them how many you've got so they know how many they need to listen to. You used lots of examples, and that really helped us to understand it again. And uh, lots of physical props. I love the tennis ball thing and the pointing of the tongue at the tennis ball thing. I think that really worked. So great. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I haven't thought of a question. Can I, you come back to me for a yeah. question? <laughs> um, so, the, the, when they stick their tongue out to smell something, uh -huh. um, what would they have detected from that tennis ball or a leaf, or if a human being had run past them? Um, if they detected a human being run past them, they would have collected um, the smell from the person that would have, they left behind, so maybe the sweat from a person, or just the natural smell of that person that, that they may have like shampooed from and they were detected, that's not an animal kind of smell, so it can, like, could be a human. So they'd have thought, that's a, you know, are we a predator? Yeah, so, so. They, yeah, they, so because they, snakes are actually more 
afraid of us than we of them. So if a snake saw us run past, they would be more likely to hide than actually attack us. You mentioned at the beginning that um, you have a phobia of snakes. Yeah. And your research was hoping to help you. Has it helped? Uh, quite a bit, yeah, because I've been looking at images and videos of snakes moving, so it's really helped me. Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. So. If there's different techniques to get around, why do snakes never evolve legs? Evolve what, please? If they, you've mentioned different ways of getting around, they're just wiggling around in their, in their bellies. They're, they're, they're prone to predation, and they're going to... I don't want to wiggle around. Why don't they evolve legs? What, it's always trying to strive forward. What's, what's the issue there? I'm not actually 100% sure about that answer at all, but um, my best guess would be that them not having legs would maybe benefit the fact that I think they actually can go quicker um, with just simple pushing and heaving, really, so, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, and if they evolved legs, they wouldn't be snakes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the sneaky, snakey, Benito Mazzasti. <laughs>